robust interventions and strategies by the state in establishing enterprises that are linked to various sectors of the economy could provide strong recovery and indeed growth, according to Dr. Ha John Chang, a leading world economist. When Mao Zedong was uh, the, the, trying to the, the push his uh, the great leap forward program, he said, we are going to take over the Britain in 10 years and the United States in 15. Yeah? You know, ambition alone isn't that, that, that enough. Yeah? You need to be pragmatic. You need to be pragmatic also about the tools that you use. Yeah? No, I just uh, gave you the example of Singapore, which is the ultimate example of pragmatism. Yeah? It combines the most extreme socialist policies and most extreme capitalist policies. Yeah? South Korea is similar. You know, the, unlike Singapore, we didn't like uh, the state-owned enterprises. We didn't like foreign companies but use them when necessary. Eh? Dr. Chang's assertive views came at the Joseph Mobiru Memorial Lecture, in which the theme rethinking the role of the state in economic development was at the center of discussion. This is precisely where this country wants to move from and become industrialized. I can say it without stammering, literally every Developed country is an industrialized country, it's not by accident. There has to be increased attention in our country, manufacturing, agro-based, value addition. All these are part of the policies of government. But a section viewed the ambitious recommendations for state intervention with a pinch of salt, arguing that the Western tigers of China, Taiwan, Thailand, among others, that grew with the backing of state enterprises, had a different template. Singapore is Singapore. Uganda is Uganda. And I would like to analyze the issue I'm going to talk about on the basis of that. Adam Smith, one of the greatest scholars in economics, once said that work done by a slave is more expensive than free labor. Bank of Uganda organizes the annual Joseph Mobiru Memorial Lecture aimed at shaping discussion on fiscal and monetary constraints within the economy. And we cannot expect the 68 to go into manufacturing. Manufacturing, the share of manufacturing is only 10%, okay? Services is 48%. Now, we will not have many jobs in services in the short run. That's, that's out. So in the short run, we cannot escape from making agriculture more efficient and increase the productivity in agriculture. Reina Ojun, NTV Business.